It is the touchline here on Y254. And now we shift gears considering that we are youth here in the country and one of the biggest menaces that we have, it is the drug problem here in Kenya. Most of the counties have a lot of a drug problem from the interior to the city. But we've got young boys here in studio with us today who are using football to change that narrative. They come from deaf group of companies. They have a football team that they own and what they use with this football team is all about trying to get the youths off drugs so that they can get into the world of using their talent and know that with talent you can make it in this life how about that let's talk to them and hear what their story is and how they are using football for changing the narrative on drugs to talent and how you can help yourself joining me here in studio they are the four gentlemen from devki football team i've got <coughs> solomon agano solomon how are you karibu sana wa 254 unasikia jaban First is to thank God. At least we have gotten a chance to come to these studios. At the time we were starting, we never knew we can be so far at this time. And our aspirations. In future, maybe we can go up to this Spain you're saying. Yeah. At least make and make the life of these young boys mm -hmm. just happy to be for them to be happy again. Yeah. And to, to start their hustles, mm -hmm. do something. Yeah. And it will be good if yeah. we support each other as a Kenyan, support yeah. young boys <coughs> and live and live about drugs. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got Calvin Lomidi. Calvin, welcome to Y254. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. I feel home. I feel honored. Uh -huh. We are thankful that we are here today, at least to to air our agendas yeah. towards the youth, uh -huh. because God gave us life and gave us talent. Uh -huh. So we have to use our talents in the right ways. Yeah. And one of them is to nurture others, to uplift others. Yeah. Because leading, it's not a must you be in front. Uh -huh. You can give others to lead while you're watching them. Uh -huh. You oversee them. So yeah. we we all play in competitive leagues. Yeah. We have different. We, we are in different teams. So we came together to form one team with one goal yeah. to nurture other talents. When we mm -hmm. spot a talent, we take them we take them to our respective teams yeah. back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good one. For then we have got Onesmas Sangora. Onesmas, welcome to Y254. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. It's so great to be able to share our story with the Y254. Yeah. We are very great uh, fans of you. And uh, our main purpose here is uh, uh, we want to tell the world, Kenya at yeah. large, that uh, we have young talents <coughs> down there that are dying. Uh, and uh, we want to bring on board that uh, we are moving around this country so that we can be able to look at those young talents that are, are rotting down there yeah. and bring them on board so that we can be able to share them to the world. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. Solomon. If you can just tell us, how did this all begin? <coughs> okay, me and my management, yeah. we just sat down because we are from the different clubs, mm -hmm. but in the same place we are we are living. Yeah? Yes. So we played with this guy in mm -hmm. one team. Yeah. Up to county level, mm -hmm. provincial. Yeah. Then it went like that. The sponsor was not available. So we sat with this guy down, we asked how can we help the others because when we visit the rural places, we found young boys, they are playing ball, football, then you can find them maybe, they have their problems. Yeah. But when we, we just discussed with him, we, we proved that the players who were with him to come join us, at least you can get to the rural places, we play with them if we have a ball, maybe yeah. because, you know, the urban football with the rural football is just two different things. Yeah. You find in the urban, we have at least adequate things that maybe we have something, balls, cones, yeah. uh -huh. but in the rural, they yeah. lack everything. Yeah. They have one ball for training, the same same ball is playing games. Yeah. So we find it so difficult to them, so we have to visit the places, 
as we went to Kapsabet, to Embu. So when we reach there, we play a game. We, we just nature the mentality, you know. Yeah. Some of us, some players just need a mental. Yeah. Yeah, you just nature the mentality. Yeah. So we talk to them, others change. Others, maybe they tell us their problems. Maybe he started doing this when he was young. So we have to to improve him at least. Yeah. So, Alva, Alva, the, the thing will be, how have you changed it? So what, what are some of the success stories that we can get from your football team? Uh, on my side eh? yeah. and as a team. For one, let me, on a personal basis, eh? yeah. and the, the reason why I called Solomon, uh, we have Cal, Calvo, and uh, our manager here, yeah. it is because after sitting down with Solomon, we decided there are young boys there. Maybe they have not g gotten a chance to get in the playing academies, these academies for football, yeah. but they have the talent. Mm -hmm. So how do, how do we help these young boys? It is by forming a team, we called it Tembea, so that we, we will cover the country and maybe spot the talent, mm -hmm. help the boys, in our place there at Ruiru, we have some other boys who are in the in the drug alias. Yeah. And at a, at a point, as a parent, I think I'm around different views. So yeah. 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 Wenye wa meshindu wa kapsa mm. kuja kwa uwanja. Yeah. Sababu gani ni unapata hako na ngamu mm -hmm. na ni kijana mdogo. Mm. Ukimperega kwa uwanja hako na talent. Mm -hmm. So how do you help this boy? Ni sisi wenyewe. Mm. To form a team. Wale stakeholders wa hiyo team hatuja kuja kupewa pesa. Sisi tumekuja kujitole. <coughs> sisi wenyewe. Okay. Tujitole. Ukispot mm. kijana. Unaona hako na talent. Mm. Then you help him. Yeah. On my side, nata ni kona picha hapa. Mm. I have a boy, mm. nilimpata tu kwa mazoezi. Mm -hmm. Ako na slippers, ananjalipu kungangana. Kwao, nikafuata kwao, nikapata kwao hawezi. Mm. Hawezi wakamulia kiatu, hawezi mpanya kitu yote. Kijana unampata ako na ngapu. Namuliza kijana, what, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Anakuambia some things, problem here and there, home. Namuambia nataka kucheza mpira, namuambia basi. Wacha ni kununulie jezi, unamunulia yote ikiwa full. Unanjua, that's an advantage. Yeah. And that's something you are good. Umefanya mzuri, mm -hmm. hapa duniani hata binguni umefanya yeah. kitu ya muhimu. Mm -hmm. So, ile, yeah. eh, before ni marike, mm -hmm. ile kitu ni tulikuwa tunakuja kufikiria sana, mm -hmm. it was, for our team, we needed 18 peoples. Yeah. For those 18 peoples, at least everyone to change a life of two, okay. two peoples. Mm -hmm. That's our aspiration. Mm -hmm. If you change life of two peoples, another group forms another place. You change another life of two peoples. Mm -hmm. Fish 2050, not fish on 2030. Let's mm -hmm. live alone 2030 now. Mm -hmm. 2050, mm -hmm. we will have changed 15% of the Kenyan economy. Wow. Yeah. That's a serious statement that you have made there. Calvin, when you are here, success story, you are going to be a fan of your own and you are going to be a fan of your own. Okay, number one. Tumeenda tumeenda Kapsabet mm -hmm. to support talent. Mm -hmm. And as we speak from Kapsabet, we have two boys uh -huh. working in Devki now. Yeah. Yeah. Devki is our primary sponsor. Yeah. Because we cannot employ them due. We are not yet stable. Uh -huh. So when we support them, we uh -huh. bring them Devki as a team. Yeah. It has a team at the county level. Mm -hmm. So we take them there, we talk to the management. Mm -hmm. and here we have a talent. The only thing ukijana nataka, yeah. it's an opportunity mm -hmm. ya kum sustain, ya kicheza ball, mm -hmm. and he can do other things because yeah. we also talk to players. You see, this life after football. Yeah. So we also talked about that amongst ourselves and other players. Mm -hmm. You invest, you invest in anything, mm -hmm. be it in education, business. Eventually you retire. You see, sports pays, mm -hmm. but lack of financial literacy makes, a, makes sportsmen poor. Yeah. It will be very sad, missing Solomon, when he retires from from active football, yeah. is begging. Yet he had an opportunity to work, to play. Yeah. Because football, we play football 
to 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 make peace yeah. and happiness i just feel happy when you go we went to embo and the stadium was full yeah. people were happy even drunkards were there were very happy yeah. watching football and i thought that's a golden opportunity because where would be these guys be if not watching football mm-hmm. definitely they'd be drinking right yeah so when we tell them don't drink mm-hmm. we give them an alternative mm-hmm. you can play you can work you can go to school yeah it's not all about football. Football is just a uniting factor among the among many other factors. Yeah. Yes. So we have so many successful stories. Mm-hmm. We are not yet there. Yeah. We just began. Yeah. And with proper planning and we don't want to be over ambitious, I know we'll reach there. Let's talk about inspiration stories that you never get a chance to have, <coughs> but this time we have a chance. Young boys who are taking a chance on other young people to try and change that narrative. It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. We are still hanging out with these four gentlemen here. And let's talk to the manager, Onesmas Sangur. Onesmas, tell us something that we done. What inspired you guys to take on this journey? Thank you very, very much. Uh, what uh, did inspire me and uh, my fellow colleagues here to be able to come and join up, make a team, was that uh, we realized that uh, this country has talent. Yeah. And uh, when you watch uh, the football of Kenya, especially this year's African Cup of Nations, uh-huh. we had uh, a challenge. That is, we didn't perform well. But uh, when I came to realize, it's because we didn't go down to the roots to be able to select the best out of this country to go and compete yeah. around. That yeah. is in Africa. Yeah. If we'll be having that support to the football, that is the Kenya Football Federation, to go down the grassroots and be able to select those best talents yeah. who will have been able to perform better mm-hmm. on the World Cup. Uh, yeah. That is uh, the African Cup of Nations. Yeah. But because we have not strategized well as yeah. a country, that is why we didn't perform well. Yeah. Yes, we did better because it we was tried the, our Yeah, best. we tried our best. That yeah. is, it was the first time after 15 years. Yeah. And uh, we came up with that idea that is we should run, uh, that is go down to the grass roots, check on the better talent that we have down there, yeah. who are faking the talent, going back to drug addiction, so that we can be able to hook them out of the drug addiction, drug abuse system to football system. And as a result, so far we've uh, uh, done better. We went to Embu recently, that is... Uh, on uh, 21st yeah. last month mm-hmm. and then uh, we spotted still two talents who are on this 26th of uh, this month yeah. they are going to co-join Maisha Mabati Football Club okay. that's a team under Devki management yeah. and then uh, we went still to Kapsabet yeah. we realized two good talents who are right now working in the company we want to go all around the whole country and look for those better good talents who are rotting down there give them a job opportunity where they can be able to gain their livelihood and then after that we tell them to also embark on football and forget the drug addiction yeah. system L- let me ask a, a question here solomon yes. away from football <coughs> drugs drug drug addiction yeah. you guys are trying to get people off drugs so that they can try a chance in football. Yeah. You as young people and the way you have traveled in this country, you think we will curb that menace? Yeah, we can. How can we do it? You most unapata trend data kwa easy children's home sometimes. Eh? You see talent zote. Unajua pia kuna watoto wako children's home wanajiweza. Yeah. Kisoka na nini. So ile time tuko nao pale, tunaangalia tu behavior. So unajua ukiona mtoto una behavior kiwi kiutoto kidogo uh-huh. ndio unajua vile anafikiria vile anafikiria uh-huh. so ukipata tukisema tugawane tugawane tucheze unaona kingine hata kanataka kuchenge uh-huh. unajua yuki jana ana talent uh-huh. so unajua tu vile unaweza msaidia pia uh-huh. kimawazo unajua sasa pale wako lonely so uh-huh. una, at least unakaongelesha nini ukiwa na kitu uh-huh. unakapatia uh-huh. unaangalia hiyo mguu yake pia namba ngapi kama kana ba 4 ma 3 uh-huh. twende utafute jana hiyo 4 3 na kajis kama ni ka Spain uh-huh. ka full tu yeah. socks na kujua na kapatilo kambi kucheze ball kana pata ile saiki uh-huh. yeah. what's next for JFK sasa <coughs> uh, ono 
as I learned to the management, you know, we don't all work in DEFIC. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Aha, okay. Uh -huh. He works at he works at Defiki, he works at Defiki, he works at me, I works at Nairobi Technical. Uh -huh. Nairobi Technical here. Uh -huh. So we just come come up with a, with one at one point eh, we yeah. came with one thing that is football. That yeah. is what is joining us. Yeah. So at at this point in Yuna Fika Mahari Nanda una tafta una to na tatawa vijana. Uh-huh. Ata to kitaftawa vijana to kiwaleta kama ni mtu mkubwa tumemleta ameingia kwa kambuni uh -huh. tunampea an opportunity na yeye uh -huh. aibruf hiyo talent yake lakini aweze kuinspire wale wengine aliachana na wao kule nje uh -huh. wenye walikuwa yeah. walikuwa group yake uh -huh. if they come they, they come together and wakuwe na that goal ya kuacha hizo drugs uh -huh. then we support them uh -huh. on our side me tuna major about education pia uh -huh. apart from football uh -huh. huyu kijana Right now we have two two boys when you tuna somesha. Na moja na somesha uko yangu, kijana mdogo, ana familia, huyo anasoma. Najua masomo sahihi ni rahisi. Atupati mapato ya juu lakini tunaweza. That if you get 10,000 then 1,000 at least. Hiyo fungu la 10 pia. Fungu la 10 pia unaweza peleka huyo mtoto shule asome at least na yeye anjisaidie. So that's what we are doing and that's on our 18 18 man team tuliagana moja akishika mmoja mmoja ashike mwingine mwingine ashike mwingine kama ni education huyo kijana anataka kusoma juu wote si wote wanacheza kama ni kusoma anataka kusoma huyo kijana wacha tum support mpaka mahali tumfikisha hata college sahihi ni it is very fair kusoma kikuja tu naenda college ni rais serikali nalipia watu so we just think hawa vijana wako mtaani hawa wanapotea tunaweza wasaidia Calvin kama kuna mtu huko nje mwenye anaweza ataka kuwapata anaweza wapata aje so on tuko facebook uh -huh. team tembea yeah. tuko twitter uh -huh. team tembea yeah. instagram team tembea okay. then kuna namba ya simu uh -huh. namba ya tm okay yeah ah so 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 if you are on facebook you can get them at team tembea so no yes. alafu finally uh, the manager on esmas wesa ndio tunapea the final word Ebu inspire watu wawili watatu hivi waambie wenye wanaweza kuja kwa timu na wasaidie mtu mmoja wawili. Thank you very much. Uh, we as a team Tembea or Tembea FC we will wish be able to, uh, we wish to invite each and every person who wishes to co join us and be able to support these young talents in Kenya who uh, need our help as much as football and livelihood is concerned. When you are out there, we are located in Ruiru, that is uh, Kiambu County, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. In case you wish to get us on a phone call and you have a talent or you have a team that you want to play against us so that we can be able to come and inspire those boys and girls around there who are alcoholic or uh, uh, abusing drugs, or those people who don't have, uh, that is, they don't have parents, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. We wish to invite you to come or talk to us through the number 0703-803-846 so that we can be able to share with you our success story and be able to help you and nurture the talent and the society. Thank you very, very much. Just repeat the number once more. The number is 0703 803-846. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. That has been our boys here. It's an inspiration story on what you can do. Me, personally, they have touched me because as a practicing Catholic, I don't pay my sadaka every day. That's what I can tell you for free. But these boys here have inspired me on what I can do with my 10% of my salary. Thanks a lot, Solomon Agano, Alvin. Njeru, we've got Calvin Lumidi and Onesimo Sangura for coming to Y254 here to talk to us about your journey and what you are doing to help other boys out there to get out of the drug menace and come into the world of using your talent. It is Y254, it is the touchline here on Y254. For now, it is all about Safari Rally. We have got the chance to host the next edition of the Safari Rally come 2020, the WRC come 2020 but it is a big question when people ask how can i get to safari rally when i do not have money can it be done 
Here is the story of Azar Anwar, one of the legendary drivers when it comes to the Safari Rally here in Kenya on how they are trying to train people to use their normal low-budget cars and how they can get to Safari Rally. 